morning. It's Tuesday, May 26, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Mercy Outweighs Justice, and our scripture is Psalm 99. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. The seed of arrogance grows best in the darkness of unbelief. When a person closes his eyes to the truth of God's sovereignty, there springs a limitless list of possibilities to ignorance and chaos. In short, there's dumb, there's also dumber. In the 1994 movie by that name, Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels take the character of dumb to new levels. One scene's focus shows Carrey attempting to blot out whatever his dumb partner, played by Jeff Daniels, is saying. He sticks his fingers in his ears and loudly debates, na 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 that he blots out what Daniels is saying is true, he can't hear it. That he makes what is real unreal is, contrarywise, only what a fool would believe. It's that way with fools shaking a clenched fist at the sky to proclaim, as the mind of fools is wont to believe, that no god has the right to meddle in human lives. It says so right in our 244-year-old Declaration of Independence. Well, a rather older source, by a mere 4,000 years, refutes that thinking. Psalm 14.1 Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. There are so many parts... There are so many moving parts to living as a human being. For instance, just breathing in and out, although we do it without thinking, it would take a city of libraries to do even the slightest bit of justice to how magnificently the respiratory system conducts the orchestra of life's miracle. The fool somehow imagines he evolved into that because of some innate strength for which he or she alone can take credit. I roll intended. If breathing is that incredible, yet everyone does it over 21,000 times a day, what if we tried to fathom such things as reproduction, DNA, and human relationships? Well, then you really get mind-boggled. And so, let me get to the point before I don't. When life falls apart because of really bad choices, like ingesting nicotine into really pink, healthy lungs, or eating yourself into a stupor, or imagining in any of six billion ways you can thumb your nose at how God designed life to be joyful and non-anxious and purposeful. Thinking that you can do a better job? You're sitting in the front seat of the pickup truck with Lloyd Christmas and Harry Dunn, sticking your fingers in your ears and blotting out truth. The good news is that for anyone who will unstop their ears from hearing, repent of unbelief and trust in God's mercy, that mercy far outweighs the justice that can lead to a fool's demise. Let's pray. Father, forgive us each for taking our turns with blotting out the truth. Your voice calls in soft whispers. Help us to be still, open the ears of our hearts, and listen. For you today, it helps to remember that it is possible to blot out truth. That doesn't mean you've won the debate. God's truth is eternal and unbreakable. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.